Okay, in this video, we continue by looking at more examples of how to use integration by parts to evaluate uh, certain integrals. The integrals that we are looking at uh, can be divided into three. There is what we've called type one, where you've got a polynomial times either an exponential sign or cosine. Um, in uh, type 2, you've got a polynomial times either a logarithmic function or an inverse trigonometric function. Type 3, you've got an exponential times either sine or cosine. In uh, parts uh, 2 and 3, we already started uh, looking at uh, examples. So here we're going to continue with more examples. So here we've got uh, e to the 2x in a times uh, sine x. So just looking at this table here, we see that this uh, belongs in uh, type 3. So there are two methods of working this out. Either we integrate by parts twice and then turn the thing inside out, or we use uh, complex numbers. Um, in uh, this video, we're going to use the first approach and then in a uh, subsequent video, we will demonstrate the complex numbers approach. Right, so uh, we're just going to integrate that thing by parts twice, and then we're going to turn it inside out or invert. Um, you will see what we mean by that. <clears throat> All right, so we let u be any of the two. Uh, it uh, does not make much difference, really. So in this case, we're going to choose u to be the exponential. So du is going to be the derivative of e to the 2x is 2e to the 2x. Then uh, dv is going to be sine x dx. v is going to be then the uh, integral of sine which is a negative uh, cosine. So then if we call this thing i, so what is going to happen is therefore i is going to be given by uv minus the integral of uh, v du. So uv, there is u, there is v, it's going to be negative e to the 2x times cosine x, then take away uh, v is negative cosine x, du is 2e to the 2x dx. So if I will just sort out the signs here and factor out the 2, this is going to be plus 2 into the integral of e to the 2x times cosine x dx. So the uh, suggestion or approach here is apply integration by parts twice. So that was just the first time. Then we're going to apply integration by parts on this thing again. So uh, if we let again u be e to the 2x, then du is going to be 2e to the 2x dx. This time dv is going to be cosine x dx, and so v is just going to be sine x. So our i is going to be negative e to the 2x times cosine x plus 2 into uv this time is going to be uh, e to the 2x sine x take away the integral of v du v is uh, sine x du is 2e to the 2x dx uh, close brackets um, so if we tidy this up um, so this is going to be negative that cosine x plus 2 open brackets e to the 
to x sine x minus we're going to take the factor of 2 out there 2 times integral of e to the 2x sine x dx however you are now going to notice that uh, this term here okay is exactly the thing we are attempting to evaluate e to the 2x sine x dx so it would seem we are going in cycles but we actually are not so what we will do now is uh, the following before we turn the whole thing inside out so we're going to rewrite this uh, sine x minus two times then the stuff inside the square we are just going to write as i which is uh, what we are attempting to evaluate and then we're going to remove the square brackets here and uh, bring the eyes to one side and then make i the subject of the formula and then that's going to bring us to the conclusion of the calculation because at that point we will have a value for i so if we take a negative for i to the left hand side we're going to have 5i is equal to if i factorize this common factor here then i am going to have 2 sine x which is uh, this term here minus cosine x then dividing through by 5 so the thing we're looking for is equal to 1 over 5 2 sine x minus cosine x then plus c that brings us to the end of that um, so in a subsequent video we're going to show how to evaluate this uh, this same thing using the complex numbers approach for now we're going to go to example number b example number b we've got uh, the integral of inverse sine x so just looking at our table here uh, this belongs in what we call type 2 and uh, the approach or the suggestion is to let u be equal to the inverse trigonometric function in this case which is inverse sine and then dv is going to be the polynomial so let's see how that works out so i'm going to let u be equal to the inverse of sine x then du is going to be the derivative of the inverse of sine x which is 1 over the square root of 1 minus 6 squared then we're going to multiply this by dx then dv um, so the polynomial here is simply one and then of course it, it's accompanied, accompanied by the dx um, so if dv is dx then it means v is just equal to x so therefore i is going to be uv it's going to be x inverse sine x minus integral of v du so this one is going to be x dx all over the square root of 1 minus x squared um this integral now we can actually evaluate using u substitution you might want to check um 
um, our videos on new substitution. So we see that we've got 1 minus x squared here. We differentiate that, we get negative 2x, which is a multiple of this. And so we say that is the characteristic feature of uh, integrals for which your substitution works. So we're going to let, uh, now since we have already used the variable u above here, so we're going to use another symbol. So let's uh, uh, use xi, let xi be 1 minus x squared then dxi is going to be negative 2x dx here we have got x dx so from this we get x dx by taking the negative 2 to the left hand side and so we can now um, rewrite our integral it's going to be minus the integral of the numerator is negative one half dxi. Denominator is just going to be square root xi. So the two negatives are going to give us a positive. Then we've got integral of xi to the minus half dxi. Um, then we add 1 and uh, divide, so x inverse sine x plus 1 half, we add 1 there, it's going to give us 1 half, divide by 1 half and then plus c, so this is simply uh, square root xi, and then but xi is 1 minus x squared, so this thing is going to be the square root of 1 minus x squared. All right, so that brings us to the end of that. Um, at this point, we're going to uh, suggest that you have a go at uh, this last example here, which is a C. So if you just want to pause the video and then uh, work through C when you continue the video, then you can compare with our solution. Okay, we're now going to scroll down to our solution uh, for C. We hope uh, the video is uh, useful. Uh, do not forget to subscribe and uh, like the video and uh, of course show your support. Thank you. Um, in C, we have got the integral of lean x so that means that is going to fall under what we called type 2 so we're going to let u be the log and uh, dv be the polynomial the polynomial here is just one so yeah following that we are going to let uh, u be lean x and uh, then du is going to be 1 over x dx um, so dv is just going to be dx, 1 times dx, and um, so v is x. So therefore our i is going to be uv, so it's going to be x lin x, uh, and then integral of v du v is x, du is this, and then the x's cancel out here. So we're just going to have integral of dx. And of course, that is just x. And so we have uh, x lean x minus x. This is a uh, standard result uh, with uh, memorizing because uh, there are going to be lots of instances where we need to find or work with the integral of lean x. All right. Thank you.